Do you have a video where your subject needs a blemish retouched? Well, you gotta use this technique using After Effects and Mocha. Let's dive into it. So I have a clip here of a subject who's in a dramatic lighting scene, and she has a few blemishes here on the side of her face, incidentally right where the edge light is hitting her. So she's moving her head and the lighting's changing on her, and it's making for a difficult retouch. Some may just use a skin softening plugin or make an adjustment layer and blur it, but it doesn't always work for blemishes on the skin because there's more shadows and, and discoloration. So I find that those smoothing plugins like Boris FX are good to use afterwards at the end of the retouching process. So first I'm gonna select my clip, then I'm gonna go to Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha. Now clicking on the Mocha icon, Mocha is gonna pop up, and I'll use my X-Spline tool to select the subject's upper cheek area right here making sure in my essentials panel here that perspective is enabled as my subject does turn her head in the video. And I'll hit track forward. And once that's done tracking, I'll save and jump back to After Effects. Opening up my Mocha effect in my effect controls, I'll go to the matte dropdown and I'll click Create AE Masks. And you can see it creates a really nice tracked mask on my video. I just need to invert it, so I'll set this mode to subtract and I'll jump over to the Content Aware Fill panel, and you see it's reading my alpha channel there, which is good. And I'll make this fill method surface, and I'll keep the lighting correction at strong. This is gonna help the changes of lighting as she turns her head. And you could also lessen it if you want. I'm gonna keep it at strong. And I'll make my panel larger right here, just extend this. And I'll click Create Reference Frame. This is gonna open up that exact frame in Photoshop. So if I use the magic wand tool here in Photoshop and I select my alpha channel, I'll expand my selection by one pixel for overlap and I'll click generative fill. And right before I generate, if you guys like what you see and you wanna see more, then check out my Patreon page or my YouTube membership page where I have exclusive tutorials and you can get early access to my new tutorials and even more. Check it out, links below, hope to see you there. And generate. And you can see it makes a really nice fill on that part, matching the lighting nicely, looks pretty good. I'm gonna do this a few more times on different frames throughout my video clip. And as we know, her face moves and the lighting changes just to have a few more reference frames for the algorithm. So once I'm all set with that, I'll click Generate Fill Layer. And this is gonna analyze for a bit. If you look closely here, you can see that there's not much texture to the face. And this is like the unrealistic part that I was telling you about. Let's fix this. So I'll drag the texturize effect into my PNG layer. And then in effect controls up here, I'll select the texture layer as my video layer on the bottom. This is gonna use her skin texture from the video layer. As you can see, I can adjust the contrast. And there you go. Here's the before and after. Thanks for watching.